Okay, so from Shizentai, nice relax. 45 degrees, slowly, kakiwakuke, yeah. Then look to your right, half set, squeeze, then same time. Okay, first of all, you're, you're getting that compression. So in a thigh muscle squeeze, chest squeeze, get that compression point. For the briefest possible moment, everything squeeze, then expanding into stance, yeah? Then this equally, you're gonna cross. Don't think about your sense going forward. Keep your back exactly where it is. Everything where it is, just squeeze this really. So I haven't really moved my center at all. I've just prepared. And then from that preparatory motion, then I start moving forward into stance. Okay, look, if your back stance, if your corporate stance is kind of weight a little bit offset, uh, like a little bit more towards center, you know, and you've just done this movement and your weight's a little bit center, then inevitably you have to move in order to prepare. So like, you know, cocoa stach literally means standing with your weight on your back leg. So I'm standing with my weight on my back leg. This is cocoa stach, 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 this is cocoa stach. It's all standing with my weight on my back leg. But you know, this is never cocoa stach. Neither is this, neither is this, neither is this, neither is this, neither is this. No matter how low you go, if your weight is in the middle, it's not cocoa stach, yeah? Like traditionally, cocoa stach, you know, your front heel was slightly off the ground. So, so like, you don't have to bring your heel off a lot, but I think that whenever you make cocoa starch, whenever you make back stands, think that you could easily slide a piece of paper underneath your heel. Like, of course, the challenging aspect of this, well, a couple of challenging aspects, but first and foremost is that you don't come up when you block, okay? So you can hit in that kind of cover point, have a sense that your elbows, if you look from here, like my elbows kind of from, the top of my hand down to my elbows, I'm kind of covering from Jordan to kind of low Chudan, and from my knee down to my floor, he's kind of covering Gina. So like basically my knee is coming up towards where my elbows are. There's no gap within that kind of guard or Kamai. I mean, it has lots of applications, but have that sense. Don't, don't have it like this where there's a big gap between your elbow and your knee. Try to get that compression. Secondly, as you go from this Kakiwak UK, try to maintain the same height. So you're not coming up at this point and stopping. Of course, you brief, briefly stop, but you try to maintain the same height before inevitably going forward. And don't maintain that same height by sticking your bum out. Okay, you've got to maintain back straight, same height, get that compression, brief compression, which leads to the step forward. There's two times in Shotokan Kata where we do this. Now, don't think that you're like, no. Okay, fast Be now. very careful. <laughs> We're going to do a bad application. If you, if you push it, you block. Okay, don't think that this is what you're doing. Okay, it's not. Um, you, because it doesn't, well, obviously it doesn't work, obviously it doesn't work. So you want to have a sense of, because that's you keep coming, you're kind of moving to the side this way. Now you're, you're kind of moving and you're kind of doing this arm bar. Now it can be, it can be in combination of kind of his, uh, his uh, uke, uh, sorry, uh, his again at the same time, or even, even if it's the other hand, and you're kind of one and grabbing before you're doing his, uh, uke, uh, his again. So either kind of, block arm bar or block grab and then pull. Either way, you can have that application. And, and if you use those applications, it does give you a great sense of, of bringing everything together in that compression, in that kind of fast twitch compression. Circular, straight. So you always, both times, your left hand is going round and grabbing whilst your front hand is driving out straight. And all you're doing is, is in a thigh muscle squeeze, hip rotation, Circular straight, and then you're stepping directly into that dish stop and punch, punch. Circular straight, and then directly in exactly the same punch, punch. Imagine Ruth is again trying that that left hand jab again. He's punching a coming around and putting in an arm bar. Let me show you from uh, this hand. Okay, he's coming around. I'm blocking the circular way, putting him in an arm bar. That's all round straight. And I'm using Tai Sabaki, right? So I'm getting, I'm not just, I'm not just trying to manhandle him in any, in his strong position. He's strong this way, yeah? Like if he's, like this is where he's strong from. So I can, I can, I can, it's more difficult to deal with him. But as soon as I go offline, as soon as I kind of break it or go to his shikaku, his dead angle, then he's going to become weaker. So I can, can, I can move this hand, I can move this hand round and keep on going without losing contact. And all I'm doing is then putting that elbow, that, that straight attack onto his elbow. But you want to kind of create that strength in that, in that, um, in that 
supporting leg. So the rotation and the drive that you're using with your left leg must be countered by your right leg. Then obviously not so much, or you, you know, it'll stop you going forward, but not so little that it starts to end up being round. You just gotta get that balance right. And, and, and by doing, by pivoting on the ball of your foot and just squeezing that inner thigh muscle, you're gonna create pressure. You're gonna create pressure for that Maigeri to be able to come out. Knee, sun, she go raw. And she charged, go. And you, it is a she go raw, she. 